Hey everyone, this is Lunas, and this video will be about some tips and tricks in making your own commentaries. Making a commentary can be a pretty tough thing, especially if it's your first couple of times and you don't really know exactly what to say in any situation. But I know a lot of you guys would have really good insight about the game that you can share, and if you want to share it in the commentary, I hope this video can help you out. One of the most difficult things about making a commentary is running out of things to say. Even in Dota is a game where there's always something happening, not all of it is interesting or important enough to discuss. When starting out in the first couple of commentaries, a lot of commentators say exactly what they see on the screen. Though there's really nothing wrong with that, you really need to keep in mind that the viewers will see exactly what you see. Simply verbalizing what we see on the screen might not make a commentary interesting. For example, a simple phrase such as, Alchemist is going top, doesn't really add a lot to a commentary, because we already see it on the screen. On the other hand, Alchemist is going top to farm a huge creep wave with his acid spray, and because he has his level 4 goblin green maxed, Alchemist will be really really getting close to his radiance. A phrase like that would add a lot of context into the commentary, and it also will let the viewers know what you think is important or interesting. And really the viewers are here to watch your commentary, or else they could have watched the replay by themselves. So don't be shy, tell the viewers what you're thinking, and explain why you're thinking what you're thinking. It could be right, it could be wrong, but at the very least you're getting your point across, and that's exactly what a commentary is about. Now with that said, there's still going to be times where you just don't have anything to say. If the game is getting really boring with people just farming left and right, sometimes there's just nothing really interesting to point out. When you encounter a time like that, there's many things you can actually do. For example, you can actually just pull down the menu and do a quick farm check, do an item check, uh, talk about some of the skills that the hero has picked up or what order the skill has been picked up, do a quick tower count, do a couple of war check. You can even talk about hero composition in terms of what each hero should be doing in a team fight or how the team by itself should play. Should they be pushing? Should they be turtling? There's always something to say in a commentary. And from any of the characteristics I just brought up, you could always spend a couple of minutes talking about it. For example, if you're doing a farm check and you notice that a carry hero is getting less farm than they should be getting, you could talk about how this delays their core item and what impact it will have in the game. Or in another case, if you want to talk about item check and there you see notice a hero getting a vastly different item than they're normally getting, you could maybe talk about why they're getting an item like that and what alternative there might be and possibly explain why this item is good or bad for this kind of situation. And as you're getting more and more comfortable with commentating, you will actually start to feel like you don't have enough time to say all the things you want to say. And if you're approaching a stage like that, then you should be really good to go in terms of commentating. But if you're just first starting out and you have an awkward moment of silence where you don't really know what to say, don't panic. There's always something you can talk about. Just take a moment and pull down that menu and just have your eyes search for some interesting point that you could just spend a couple of minutes on. And hopefully there's going to be some action that will be happening soon. It goes without saying that the more commentaries you do, the more comfortable you'll be doing them. So don't be afraid, just jump out there and do a couple and you'll see that it's actually not that bad. After doing a couple commentaries, you start to develop your own style of commentating. What do you mean by style? Well, every commentator has their own style when it comes to commentating. You can see that just from DotaCommentators.com, there's many commentators and they each commentate a little bit differently. For example, Ian James Barnett always brings in some personal story or some sexual jokes into the commentary and it makes the commentators really laid back and really enjoyable to watch. Jack on the other hand likes to do extensive play-by-play -play approach and it makes the game so epic that you feel like you're actually playing the game. And if Ian and Jack both commentate on the same game, the commentary will actually turn out to be very different. And of course, you will learn vastly different information from each commentary. It's not that some commentating style are better than others, but it's more important to know your own commentating style so that you can focus on certain aspects of the game and also you can know that what you need to improve on. For example, my own personal commentating style is a little bit more strategic focus. So I often focus on things like creep check and tower check and I, I believe Go is a good way to tell how this game will be going in the next 10 or 20 minutes. And I know because I do a strategic focus commentary, I really need to work on more item checks and I don't usually do that enough. A single item can turn the tide of the game and I really need to work on that. So understanding what style you are doing could also help you focus and also help you to improve. Now understand that all these talk of style might not help you right now, but after doing a couple of commentaries, you'll find yourself easing into a style and recognizing that style will help you improve in the long run. Probably the most important part of making a good commentary is actually just to enjoy yourself and have fun. 
I always believe that the more excited you are in commentating, the more excited your viewers will be when they're listening to your commentary. And really, can you think back to a time where you're actually watching a commentary and you generally bust out laughing because the commentator was just so interesting or so humorous? Now, I'm not asking you to do stand-up comedy during your commentary, but if you're genuinely enjoying doing these commentaries, I bet your viewers would enjoy them a lot more as well. When you're having fun in commentating, not only will your commentaries be more well-received, your viewers are more likely to leave you feedback and constructive criticisms as well. Also, you'll probably be more motivated into doing more commentaries in the future. So don't worry so much about whether you're using the correct program or if you're commentating a recommended replay. Just go out there, crack open a replay, and start commentating it. There's always people out there that will help you improve in your commentaries. For example, in DotaCommentaries.com, we have a member commentary section where you can post your commentaries, and we'll give you constructive feedback and hopefully that could help you improve even further as a commentator. So I hope this video has been helpful to those that want to start commentating. And since you guys are always giving me feedback to my commentaries, I'm really looking forward to see what you guys can produce, and hopefully I can help you guys out as well. So until next time, I hope this has been helpful, and this is Luminous signing off. Have fun commentating, guys.